All right, today we're going to be replacing the fuel filter on the 2012 Jetta TDI. It's a two point, uh, two liter. Uh, first, I cleaned off this area so you don't want to have any particles fall into it. Then you take a T30 bit and kind of loosen it in the star pattern. Alright, start right here. <clears throat> There's a little spot with the flathead screwdriver. I already went ahead and loosened this up, but when you go through, gently pop that up and come over here and pop up, and over here and pop up, and this side if you can get it and pop up. Because uh, usually they're on there pretty, pretty good, and you don't want to damage any of that. So there's an O-ring underneath, or a seal. I'll lift this up real quick. This one, if you can see down in there right there, is stuck to it. So what you want to do is just... No, oh, shoot. <laughs> just like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're going to have diesel all over. Sorry. <laughs> Don't do what I did, but pop that up like that. And there's a filter... Right in here. Pull it out slowly. So after checking to make sure there's no particles, I'm putting the new filter in. Make sure the green tips up. Drop it in slowly. Okay. Let it soak for a minute. Right here is the old O-ring. Take a little bit of diesel, loop that up. Go ahead and put it back on. This is the sun part. Oops, sorry. Okay, make sure it's all the way around, which it is. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either push this all the way down and push down in there until it's firm and it picks it up, or take this. Hey, you want slot machines. Push down in there a little bit. Until you get it sealed. And slowly. Get it lined up. Push it back down. Making sure you have a good seal. Uh, hand tighten these back on you're gonna take it's five newton meters or you take inch pounds so it's 44.25 inch pounds of torque so not a lot of uh, not a lot of force to put these on kind of like a star pattern There's one Two, three, and I believe that one is left. Oh, 
that's it. All right, so before we're done in here, just make sure you wipe everything, uh, any excess gas that spilled out. In my case, it was quite a lot. Uh, I made sure none got on the belt. A couple got in here, but we wiped it all down as best we could. Next thing you're gonna do, uh, I don't have the computer system for it. You don't need it unless you drain out the the diesel that was in here. So we're gonna go to the, the cab real fast. Connor, you key in there? Connor! Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go to the on. Cycle about four or five times. So you're priming the pump? Priming the pump. Do it one more time and I'm gonna start it up. Just make sure that we don't have any leaks coming out of that seal. leaks.